it's so big. <laughs> really? Yeah, it is. It's ridiculous. Hey guys, Brian here from Five to Go. Uh, back with Ben. You hey. guys might remember him from last year. Uh, put an uh, episode out last February. Uh, you were in a Grand Design Imagine 2800 BH. I was. Yes. And uh, something I, happened. Not, that, <laughs> we decided to go full time. Yeah. And that wasn't going to cut it. No. So it's uh, Ben and his wife Kelly and two young boys. And the 2800 BH is a little small. Mm. So uh, some of us think Ben might have swung a little too hard in the other direction. <laughs> Go big or go home, or maybe go big and go home. He went big and took his home. That's yes, <laughs> this is true. This is so true. this uh, this behemoth behind us is a fully custom order. I'll see it. I, it's so big, I can't even fit it in the no, frame. It's, yeah. it's ridiculous. It is a New Horizons Majestic, and that it has a big number designation that I'll just put on the screen because we can't even memorize it. Yeah. Uh, it is 50 feet long. It is 50 feet long. How much does this thing weigh? It grosses at 32,000. 32,000 pounds. It doesn't actually weigh that right now. That's the gross. Right. So that's uh, that's the weight with uh, the thing itself, all of the fluids it can carry, and all of the cargo it can carry. 32,000 pounds. Yes. Uh, so he's currently towing with a 3500, a Chevy 3500. Dually. Dually. Late model. Yep. And uh, you're thinking about heavy duty truck, right? Yeah. 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 I, I mean, it tows quite well, yeah. but we've added a lot to it. Yeah. And you're about to see some of that. Yeah. Just a quick note, uh, the outside there's a lot uh, in the storage bay, solar, batteries, all these other systems that Ben has added. Uh, we're going to do a super quick look at those, but then this is an inside tour. There's going to be another video in the future with a full deep dive of everything on the roof and everything up in the front bay, including internet stuff, power stuff, water filtration, tool storage, all that stuff that you guys loved that he did to his 2800. That's this is that on steroids. Yes. This is crazy. So, super quick look at the outside, and then we'll pop inside. Sounds good. All righty. So let's just start with uh, what's up under the nose here. A lot of batteries. A lot, a lot of batteries. All right, so I see a whole mess of batteries, and this is only half of them, right? This is only half of the 48 volt power system. Good uh, This is 16 cells with its own breaker, BMS, and balance system, shunts and all that. And then, the other half are up here. Oh my lord. <laughs> so. Yep, so we will do a full in-depth tour of all of this stuff, all of the pieces. Uh, and then in back here video. in this little brown case is the 12 volt battery. Oh. Which is four of these. Four of them. Oh my gosh. I didn't yeah. even think about that. Yep. But just going around, this is the only outside storage bay. This is the only outside storage bay, but it's large. It is. It is quite large. I was actually sitting in here earlier. Yes. Uh, ben, my Ben, can stand up without crouching in here. And uh, so you've got, this is all networking stuff. Yep, it's the network equipment and a UPS. with the UPS for the network equipment. And then you just installed a tool chest, so yep. that's kind of currently empty. Uh, but he does have a battery problem, apparently. I, I, have, a, I have a problem with <laughs> multiple brands of stuff. Yep. Like, and know, then we've got water filtration over there. Yep. And then... I don't even remember these, what those are called. These are the Victron Quattros. So most of you are familiar with the MultiPlus. This is the bigger brother. Uh, the MultiPlus uh, has one AC input. These have two. So you can have both your shore power and your generator connected at the same time. Okay. As independently measured legs. Gotcha. Okay. <clears throat> and, and again, we'll do a deep dive on all this yep. in uh, the next video. Solar uh, controller up there, servo yep. for managing it all. Yep, just a whole mess pep, of stuff. Pep waves. Pep waves here, and those are uh, up on the roof. You have two of those. I have two of those husky antennas on yep, the roof. Yep, so I will uh, put some footage. We were actually up on the roof earlier. I'll put some footage in here uh, showing the solar panels and the pep waves. And uh, you've got max air vents. You've got AC units. You know, all the normal roof stuff. So lots of fun stuff up there. Yep. All right, so let's head inside. Okay. And uh, like I said, he does have two young boys. So... Uh, you're out here in the middle of the desert, boondocking in Arizona. Yes. So it's really just nothing but space out here. So and dust. Why not use and it? Dirt. So first up, right across from the door, you got a bathroom. Half bath and laundry. Oh, there is laundry in here. There is laundry. Laundry's in here, yep. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Stacked washer and dryer. Nice. And then it's just storage up above that. Storage up above. Actually, it's uh, um, like an entertainment. Oh wow. Slash <laughs> an there Xbox 360? Yeah, that's the newest. All uh, of the <laughs> That is the newest generation. Um, I am um, not believing my eyes right now. That I have. 
Wait, it hasn't red ringed and it's how It has not red ringed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. You, that, that I blows me I away. I had one that red ringed. I actually fixed it. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. All right, so we got a little, uh, sink. little yeah. vanity sink here. Yep. Uh, nice uh, molded in sinks and nice fixtures. Thermostat and the Firefly um, control system. Ah, you that's how see. you turned on all these wonderful that's how I lights. Turn on all these wonderful lights. All right. There's a very small utility closet here. Um, I think you need some more latches. I need more. Yeah, these are all for the old cabinets. <laughs> yeah, but this the again two young boys. <laughs> yes, two young boys and uh, things that move. Uh, the Victron system there controls for the uh, under. Belly lights. Oh right, that's the weird Chinese, the how dang. How dang. Yeah. <laughs> how outside. dang. Yeah, yeah I have no idea. Lights, right. Oh, those are Mavic. Or, uh, yeah, those are my DJI bought it. Those are drone batteries. batteries. Yeah. Yeah, I built a little charging station up here nice. for them. And then this is the control for the on-demand uh, hot water heater. Oh, okay. Cool. Yep. So this should. And then all the power. This stuff. would be like a closet or a hat. Yeah, area I guess. Or... I, don't, okay. I don't. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a very strange form factor. So I'm yeah. still. We put the hooks here because they stay out of the way. Yep. And I saw the fuse panels down here, the breakers. DC A yep. and two AC panels. Yep. And then a surge protector. Cool. Alrighty. Yep. So up into the master. So we come to the bedroom first. Yep. This is a king. It's a Cal King. California King, which is, is longer? Longer and slightly narrower. But it's also a split Cal King okay. with adjustable bases. Jeez. That's right. You had to, you had that brought to we, them, and they we had a we brought it to them, and they custom built the frame to support the powered lifting. Everything. Yep. <clears throat> and then we've got storage up top, and that's flooring on the that wall. That is bamboo right? flooring. Yeah, this I is, love the way that looks. It is a great trick because bamboo flooring is super light. Yeah. You can just glue that on any wall. So yep. pro tip. Yep. That's nice. Do that and it looks good RV. too. You can do any patterns you want, any colors. Oh, yeah, it's got tons of different options. Yeah. And then back here, we've got more storage around yep. a window. Yep. And we've got a nice little shelf here. Yep. And we got some trim laying on the And we've got some top. trim laying on the <laughs> Maybe we can make that go. Uh, so there's more storage under there. So this is inset to make room for the bed slide, right? Right. Yes. So okay. the bed slides up into it here. It just tucks in there. Okay. Yep. And then. Oh, I forgot about this. Yeah. The TV pops down. That's clever. Yeah, yeah. when I saw this, uh, you camped with us at the Tampa show. Yeah. And uh, that something was wrong with that. Yeah. Uh, the TV wasn't, I, or the mount wasn't right. Uh, yeah, they, I needed to get their, the special mount that is basically 3D printed. Oh, because it's like super to, shallow. Yeah. 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 To work. Okay. Oh, so how did, basically so, what was happening is this wasn't, you couldn't get these pins to latch in here. Gotcha. Okay, so undo that again. So there's little pins here, and we'll look at the other side. Go ahead and drop it. So those little pins just ride into there mm -hmm. and hook up. Yep. Really cool. Awesome. All right, and then forward of here is a bathroom. Is the master bathroom. You got a sink. Yep, sink, same molded sink, same, yeah. you know, real faucets. This is actual tile, grouted tile. Like glass tiles. Like glass tiles. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, you got a little pop-up. Pop-up power Instead outlet with in the USB. Walls. Instead of in the walls okay. or in the bottom of the cabinets. Yeah. That's just, I don't like those. Those I fall hate, out. I hate that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, Lots so of storage. That. There yep. is, uh, I do like the floor lighting. That's in here and in the kitchen, right? It's in the kitchen. It's in here. It's under a lot of different things. And they do it over the, uh, over the, over the slides. slides. Yep. I love, I love bias lighting. Yep. All right. And so the shower. The shower. This is a swanky shower. It really is. This is <laughs> actually, believe it or not, larger than the shower in my old house, hmm. my master bathroom shower. But, it is. It's you're not. There's no. Yeah, no. The there's no creaking. Is, there's no bouncing. This is solid as a rock. Yeah. So a normal RV shower is just kind of like a, uh, like a plastic tub sitting over a frame. Yep. And so the floor is almost always flexy and bouncy. Mm -hmm. This. What did they do different with this? This is. Um, it's a particular brand. We'll have to link it or something. Sure. Um, that they use this material. Yep. Uh, so then up in the nose, we have some storage. Yep. So this is actually, so like the end of the frame, you know, the end of the, really the main part of the frame is like right here. So this is all, they said they had, you know, they made that nice cap on front, but yeah. they were like, this is all empty. Mm -hmm. Let's do something with it. So mm -hmm. they built these shelves into it. Okay. So that's it for that. And then this is just, <laughs> this is just a closet. Another closet. And toilet. Oh, another toilet. That's right. Yeah. Can't, you know, storage over the toilet. All right. 
This is a very long RV. <laughs> it really is. That uh, that little red triangle there is the back wall. So let's uh, let's go that way and check out the rest of it. Yep. Alrighty. So kitchen over here, office and kids room back there. But let's talk about the living room first. Yes. Uh, that's a large TV. That is a 65 inch OLED. 65. Uh, it is from my house, and I made sure that they had enough wall space for it to stay there. <laughs> because when you're designing a custom rig, yep. you can do things like that. So let's talk about that for a hot second. Yep. Uh, you approached them, yep. and they basically uh, they asked you what you wanted. Yes. You gave them a sketch? Yeah, so what they do is, if you actually look at New Horizons' website, they have a bunch of models that they have listed. Uh -huh. The models they have listed are rigs that they have built for previous people, okay. um, customers or whatever, and they are simply there as ideas. Okay. Because frankly, it's a little intimidating to be handed a piece of graph paper and say, draw an RV. Right. You know, you need, need a little bit of help. So they have a couple different, you know, they have a bunch of different ideas and models. And I took a bunch of those models and I kind of cobbled it together in a like lucid chart or something like okay. that. And, and brought it all together and said, here, this is what we would like it to look like. Mm -hmm. And I fully expected to be laughed out of the room mm -hmm. because I, I went big. And it came back and it wasn't really that far off, wow. to be honest. Nice. Like, I think I had a longer couch this way okay. than I would have. Yeah. Um, and that's a note, our couches still have not arrived. Right. So, oh yes, um, yeah, there's missing furniture. Yes, there's can... supposed to be a love seat here and Peter seats here yep. that are a matching set. The couches we have, we had at our house. Gotcha. So and that's supply chain issues. Supply chain issues up the... Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's been a year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's been two years. <laughs> it's been a... Yeah, it's been a long time. <laughs> oh, okay. So we got the Man Monster TV. Manster TV. I can't Man talk, Man apparently. Uh, we got a sound bar. You're doing uh, wireless Sonos. Sonos speakers, right? All Sonos. Yep. And then, really, that's Linear the longest... 60-inch fireplace. Yeah, a five-foot fireplace. That's the longest one I've ever seen. Yep. Uh, normal storage up here. Is there another 360 hiding up in here? No, there's or... not. It's just, it's just DVDs and... Oh, we got World of Warcraft up there. Yeah. Stuff. yeah. Okay. Yeah. We got 360 games. Yeah, I do have some of those. <laughs> I do have some of those still. All right. So, like you said, this slide here, uh, there's supposed to be a couch in here. Yeah, couch. Uh, but it works as a nice feeding area right now for the kids. Yep. And uh, lovely, beautiful windows. One thing I was talking to Aaron about earlier when we were waiting for you to get back. Mm -hmm. Something I've never seen in another RV. Probably for a reason. And Kelly said it's on your checklist every time you shut down the rig. Uh-huh. The windows yes. on the sides of the slides uh -huh. are yes. tilt out. Yes, they are. So, imagine in your mind, oh, a nice breeze, got the window out. Oh, time to go. Let's bring the slide in. Yeah. And that glass is sticking out. Yeah. That's uh It was also very very adamantly called out during yeah. my orientation. I bet. Because yes. that, that would be bad. So you've got two of them over there. Two of them there, two of them on the slides in the bedroom, and then oh, this one. So there, one there's there. a total of five in that. Yeah. So very what I'm position. used to seeing is windows that slide up and down. <clears throat> right. So, I mean, it's just weird. I mean, it's you something might get I... more airflow that way, I feel like. I but don't, I don't know. The don't nice know. thing about these is if it starts raining, you you're really don't get, have to worry about it. You're not getting water in. Yeah. yeah. The slidey ones, water comes right in. Yep. Yeah. So, lots of windows. I love it. This is the off-camp side, but because you're out here boondocking in Arizona, there's uh, not a bad view. No. Just a couple other RVs. And uh, we know those people right there. Yeah. And actually, everybody else out here. So, you have a little dining area. Yeah. So, it's um, a breakfast bar, I guess you could call it. Yeah. Um, but we went for this multi-purpose layout here because, I, frankly... We never really used the dinette as a seating area. Yeah. This, I figure it's gonna work great for the kids doing homework yep. or, or eating or whatever have you. you yeah, know. and they have a nice big window, nice yep. view. And you can look out and you know, I've gotten a couple of good views. You know, had a lake out here one time. Nice. And, yeah. and they got lots of outlets. So lots they did this, this little corner thing. Yeah, they use this corner trim so that they can run those flush yeah. Instead of sticking out of and boxes. And over here, too. Since there's no furniture in the way, you can see. You can see that they added yeah. down here and down on the other side. And then I had them add, I had them add, I think, 10 extra outlets. Over what they spec. Over what they normally would spec. Okay. Because. Um, you can never have too many. You can never have too many. <laughs> and they're really hard to put in after it's done. Oh, yeah. Yep. Nice. 
So coming backwards from this uh, eating area. Yep. Pantry. Pantries. Very yes. large. Pantries, plural. Pantries, yeah. <laughs> Very so, large pantries. Yep. So we have, I'll start with just this one. We have Gosh. your standard, you know, this is a standard full pantry. You know, drawers. Oh, those, those are not drawers that pull out. Those right? are not drawers that pull out. Okay. These are shelves. Those are we static just shelves. Came out with baskets for this stuff. Is there any lighting in there? There is no lighting in this one. Ben, come on, man. Well, you can afford a 360, but you can't afford lighting in your pantry. <laughs> 360, yeah, that's it. Weirdly, I think, actually, there, there it is. There's lighting up there. There's here, lighting up there, okay. Which is just full of extra yeah. bottles and cups, I think, that are from packing. Right. Okay, so you got two huge pantries like that, some storage up top. Yep. And and so uh, this one actually is a little different. different. Oh, that's right. This is one of those things that wasn't done yet, mm -hmm. is they didn't have the shelves, the drawers that pull out. Oh. They did not have them back from the, the manufacturer. So I said, hey, instead of giving me an empty cabinet, yeah. can you just stick some wood on top of this and make me some shelves? So this is not a finished product. They, so they came will... in here and cut them real quick and gave me that. So, so this will eventually be... This will be drawers that pull out. They'll be drawers. Yeah. Okay. Not, yeah. a, not a shelf. Kind of like a... Yeah. yeah. And okay. then this here is the broom closet. I like that. Yeah. So I like that I, a lot. I knew I had, you know, the step ladder. I knew I had brooms and mops and the Dyson vacuum and everything. Yeah. That's clever. Yeah. So we went with that. All right. Now, coming backwards from that, this place is so huge. <laughs> yes. Fridge. Fridge. Nice, big, normal residential this fridge. This is Looks a, like it's a wide one. residential, full depth residential fridge. Yeah. Let me, let me scoot around this way. I think it's, the kitchen. I think it's, it's dirty. Holy crap, course, it's deep. Yeah. <laughs> and it's backlit. Yes. That's really crazy. Yes. Right. So. And Kelly was, Kelly was showing off this drawer. She loves this, this drawer. This drawer is my favorite. It's the drawer <laughs> with all the cans. Yeah, it holds cans perfectly. Yes. It's great. And you can set individual temperatures. Temperatures and stuff like in that. In each compartment. Yep. Right? Awesome. And we got probably just a little utility storage up top there. Yeah. Yep. Sheet pans, all that stuff that never fits anywhere else. Yep. So spinning back around, uh, this is the child wall. This is the child wall, yes. Because the little one likes it's to stand here. The little here one would and... stand up here and you would touch the, the touch faucet. Oh, it's a touch faucet. It's a touch faucet. That's fun. Yeah. And it would do that. And then you'd spin it around and uh, <laughs> put wire everywhere. Nice. Um, so yes, nice wall here. Yep. This does not move on travel days. It is Yeah, I saw that you Velcro it down. firmly affixed. Yeah, there's like five pieces of Velcro on each of those. Yeah, and it's like that. It's like that. It's Velcro. We all know Velcro command strips. Yeah. This is like the hardcore heavy duty version it's of like that. It's like the really stiff plastic ones. Yeah, the real yeah. stiff plastic ones that yep. just have the real tight interlock. Yep. And I'm like, uh, that's that's what I use to put better. my cameras on the outside. Yeah, for the for the real heavy yeah. duty ones. So um, you've got two little flip up pieces of counter. Yep. Which is nice. Yep. Add to a little extra, and it doesn't. I mean, the slide here. This is the edge of the slide. It sticks yes. up maybe inch this, and a half, two inches. Yeah. So the floor is a little bit longer. Yeah. And it's hard to see here, but there is. Um, this the floor goes up oh. underneath. Yeah. So it, it tucks in underneath. But you can have this, that, this oh. chair has to move for travel day. Oh, gotcha. But that can be up and yes. not really block the whole walkway. Right. It, it, yeah. Yeah. You can squeeze it. A little tight. Um, room for my uh, Sonos uh, subwoofer. Subwoofer. Yep. Because why not? <laughs> um, yep. We'll put the trash can here. You know, it, it, it moves. Into, trash can. Moves into the kitchen when we're done. The floor lighting time. is lovely. Yep. It's also really good at showing off dirt, which hopefully doesn't show up on camera. But yep. we're in the desert. It's we're, we're in the desert. <laughs> Be nice. Be nice, internet. Uh, induction cooktop. Huge fan. Yep. And then convection microwave oven. Yep. Also a huge fan. So no yep. no wasted RV oven, just no, lots of storage. Right, storage. Nice deep sink. Dishwasher. And I hate you. You have a dishwasher. Okay. Actually, you know, I, I, I'm going to tell I you. I want to do the touch. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, and I completely forgot to do this. Uh -huh. I was going to get one of those Hello My Name Is stickers, uh -huh. put it on the dishwasher, and write your name on it. Uh, it thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I have a dishwasher. Yeah, yeah, it's you, Brian. <laughs> that's what I was gonna. That's what I was gonna call. I was gonna, uh, I was gonna name it Brian. Thanks. In your honor. Thank you. You're welcome. I will. Uh, one day, maybe I too will have a dishwasher in my RV, not named Brian. So uh, no, 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 we've got no. normal storage up here. Yep. Because uh, the pantry behind us, you, I'm assuming you have cups. Cups and that's a lot of drawers or uh, baskets. Baskets. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. We got like six packs from the Target. I think, <laughs> and then and then Yeti storage because we like our Yetis. Oh. Wow. That's uh turns out these dedication. were like stem stemware moving okay. boxes yep, and they work great for the, the Yetis. Nice. 
but it's fine. Uh, let's see, there Tile is a moss. missing piece of tile. Yes, yeah, so we were uh, expecting a different microwave that was actually the brand match for the fridge. Oh. Um, and it was, it did not come in time for us to leave the factory. So because we needed a microwave, you know, because we don't have an oven. Well, yeah, that it's is, an oven and a microwave. That is the yeah. oven and the microwave. Yeah. Um, they threw in their standard stock not custom, you know, okay. version that they, and they had. were waiting on that to and finish the they put push. this they put this in the night before we left. Okay. They waited till the last second to get that in, like five o'clock, you know, the night before we left. Yeah. They, they were putting this in. So he's like, because this is tile and grout, he's like, I'm not doing that when you're on the day you're driving. Yeah, it would just yeah. probably fall off the wall. <clears throat> no, it needs to set real good. So when I go back in June, uh, for the couches and, yeah. and other punch list items and stuff like that, um, they'll fix that up. Nice. Okay. Well, yeah. Anything else to show off in here? These are the little flip up. Yeah, more. Yeah. Outlets again. Yep. Um, I like these more than the tube ones. Yes. Yeah. These are, yeah. Oh, you have to click it again to unlock it. Okay. Yeah, these, these just feel better. <laughs> yeah. I feel yeah. like the, the tube ones, I bet you those break. They're, yeah. If yeah, you, I feel like someone cheap. tugs on something a little sideways. Yeah. Yeah. But it is nice because you get your counter space back, you can use it. Mm -hmm. uh, these tiles, lovely. Yes. Nice wide subway tiles. Yeah, because that's, that's, it is a pretty busy pattern. That is a so, very busy pattern. So yeah. we, we liked it. We liked the colors, but it needed to not be the entire backsplash. Oh, geez, yeah. That so nice. we went with the white subway. Yep. Um, you know, the great things here, when you when you can think about this and you can really design this, the knife block is not going anywhere. This isn't going anywhere. This isn't going anywhere. The coffee maker isn't going anywhere. So what These is are all fixed down. Uh, that Velcro, the, the Velcro heavy-duty stuff. Okay. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of this stuff, it... It's a lot, you know, this is like, oh, this looks really hard to move on moving right. day. It, it looks like a bunch of crap. That's not that around. bad, you know. Yeah. We can put some some stuff in the sink and then it goes. Nice. All right. So moving backwards from the kitchen, I'm going to turn around real quick. Okay. And just to reorient ourselves, that's the storage all the way up in the nose. All the way up in the nose. I just, I can't get over how long this thing is. Yeah. It, it, <laughs> you know I've been in a lot of RVs. Yes, you have. This is... Oh, the wow. longest RV I've been in. Yes. Crazy. So, nice. forward we've got office, yeah. and to the right we've got the boys' room. The boys' room. room. And then so, this is pantry storage, too. One thing I haven't been keeping track of is slides. <laughs> yes. So we've got one big slide here. 15 feet long. So the front door is there. Mm -hmm. It's a 15-foot slide here that has this little kitchen dining area, the pantries, and the, uh, not oven, refrigerator. We've got a little slide here that's going to have furniture. And then there's a slide in the bedroom. Two. Is there? Oh, right. Two. The bed, the bed, and that and one. The vanity are opposing slides. Okay, so there's two up front. There's two in here, mm -hmm. and then there's one in the boys' room. Yes. So that's it. That's five. That's it. Five slides. Okay. Which which room do you want to do first, office or boys' let's room? Let's go to the boys' room. All right, let's go. It. The beds are in the bunk. This is uh this is baby jail. <laughs> Slide slides in here, you know, keeps keeps the little one safe Jeez. at night. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Works really well. That works. Yeah. And that's easy. What did you? It's just a little. It's a, it's an L bracket. Oh, right. it's just an L bracket that you that you rotate. Yeah. And then that slides right across. Yep. Okay. It's, huh. it's held up in the. Yeah, that's clever. Yeah, just a, oh, a and you've got other brackets up there just to keep it. Yep. Awesome. So this again, this is a slide that yep. just has the bunks on it. Yep. And then you have a couple little pull-out storage things down there. Yep. Three drawers. Those are all books for. That's all the stuff that boys can access and play. Right. With. Uh, closet. That's a lot of. How deep is that? Wow. Okay. So that's probably two feet deep. Yeah, about. All right. I would say. And is it a right. is it a closet on the right side too? Yeah. It's just all it's open. It's all. This is all. Oh, hanging, nice. hanging, hanging storage for the shirts and stuff. I latched the door so that it doesn't, you know, begin this game of slam, yeah. slam the door shut. They're slam, yeah, there's have another kids. have another baby gate here so that we can close it off but keep oh, it open yeah. at the oh, same time. One. Yeah, and the latching doors, especially because this one faces this way. Yeah. If you're not perfectly level, it's just gonna slide yeah. forward. Yeah. Nice. And you put the latch up high so the boys can't reach it, right? Exactly. That was yeah, about my shoulder height. Yeah. Nice. Five feet off the ground. Very according cool. to this lovely <laughs> uh, uh, measuring growth chart thing. All right, so past the beautiful photos of the boys. Yeah. 
Uh, into your office. Into my office. I know this is an area that a lot of people on our Discord server are interested in. Yes. So uh, let's do the Cribs tour <laughs> of Ben's office. The Cribs tour. I love it. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, it's an office. Um, nice, wonderful desk chair. Um, I have my printer up here. Okay. I've got dedicated cubby for the printer. Cabinets up above for more storage. Drawers over here for storage. My iMac Pro, and then a full setup for work with my laptop underneath. All right, and these are mounted to the wall. They're mounted to the wall. So none of this has to come down? None of it has to come travel? down. I just, for, for travel days, I, I, I do that number, and then, okay. I, and then I, have a, I have a strap. Okay. And then you, even, you even went so far as to mount your microphone to the wall yep. for, for uh, Teams meetings and stuff. Yep. Very cool. And so camera. what do you, where's the camera? Oh, yeah, totally missed it. Yep. Okay, and then what do you do with the chair? <clears throat> the chair, I just bring the uh, I bring the arms up. I'll bring you, I'll bring you on that pull effect. Oh, it, they can't, kinda... go. it can't go anywhere. Oh, does it hook on? Oh, I see. So there's a lip here. Yep. Oh, okay. That works. I thought you had, were going to have some like, clever strap system. I, where... <laughs> I did originally have a strap. Yeah. Actually, I did originally have a strap across here, and then we, real, you know, I was like, "Oh, I could really use that strap for something else." Right. And realized that this just stays perfectly fine in there. Okay. And then you have a little window there off the back. A little window off the back. And then you got a vent fan up here, so you yep. can get some air. And then all of your AC units are the uh, they're all ducted. The ducted roof mount ones, so you don't yep. have the big unit sticking down inside. Right. Yeah. They actually hid the the. Race the track. standard yeah um well even like on the imagine it had a racetrack yeah but the unit was still present yep. in the ceiling yep this these units are hidden up and they you know put in individual returns and then a lot more ducks and all yeah. three of them are all connected to each other nice very cool although they do zone pretty well i have to say very cool and then this is the same countertop, countertop as the top kitchen? material as the kitchen okay yep. and then you said you had drawers over there drawers and a file cabinet very cool. So and it's um, in a solid. All these doors are solid wood, by the way. Nice. This is the thing. Like it's heavy. It's thirty-two thousand <laughs> gross, so yeah. they can do this. Yeah, you can have heavy things. All and... of the drawers are all dovetailed. Oh my gosh. You know, like, I think they use <laughs> cherry or something like that. Jeez. Yeah. I mean, I can open them like. Yeah. Let's see the I'll, let's see the I'll fancy heavy-duty drawers. Open one of these. Oh yeah, they are. No kidding. Yeah. Nice. I think this. Jeez. That's let me, it. Let's do the let's do the full view from the back. Okay. All the way to the back. Good lord. <laughs> do you I'm have only an, in the kitchen. Do you have an intercom system to reach no, I don't. to reach Kelly up front? I don't. <laughs> Carrier pigeons? Yeah. <laughs> you know what's actually really funny is those those air return kind of grates there. Yeah. Those are pretty much a direct shot into the basement. So if I'm in the basement, she can just talk to me. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. You know what I want to do real quick? Huh. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run from the back to the front. Hold on. I just. I have to do this. All right. I've had my fun. Okay. One, one last thing. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna waste your water. That is fun. All right. This thing's big, guys. Um, thank you, Ben. You're welcome. Thank you for uh, showing us your home. And welcome to Full Time Life. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you. You it's, guys have uh, been a, a huge um, inspiration. That's what I was going for. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, Full Time Life is fun uh, and challenging. Mm -hmm. And uh, you've been doing nothing but projects for the last two months. I really on have. This thing. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so hopefully, uh, within the next week or so, he can get all of the downstairs stuff buttoned up, all the storage done. I'm not. No pressure. If it doesn't happen, it's fine. But everybody wants to see it. Yeah. Comment below <laughs> if you want to see it. Oh, uh, yeah, that's yeah, that's good. Right? That'll, that'll work. Yeah, that'll blow all we have to do, blow all up, we have right? to do, is just tease it on Discord because everyone wants to see this thing. Because everyone on our Discord has been following the construction process of this RV. Yeah, for Roadrunners, we shared the weekly photo yeah. status photos, which was really fun. Yeah, because what was New Horizons was uh, shooting a bunch of photos and then uploading them and every Friday and just yeah. sharing the galleries and. Yep. Wow, it's quite a process. So uh, thank you again, and uh, we will see all of you guys on the next episode. And uh, that's it. Bye from the Arizona desert. Bye. <laughs>